American baker in Germany where the ingredients are German and the baker is American. I'm Michelle and today we are making a recipe for chicken pot pie. Actually the way this came about was I um, had a recipe up for how to blind bake a pie crust and I had got a comment saying you don't add sugar to your pie crust because shouldn't you need sugar and I said no because pie crust should be a neutral flavor. What we need is for it to be either sweet or hearty. It doesn't have to be sweet. There are definitely pies that you can make that are not sweet. For example, chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie is amazingly delicious. Even my children love it. So let's get started. Let's start out with our ingredients. We need one large or two small pie forms lined with uncooked pie crust. If you need a recipe for the pie crust, see the link in the card. One pound or 450 grams of chicken cut into small pieces. Three cups or around 400 grams of frozen vegetables. One tablespoon salt. One teaspoon black pepper. Two cups or 450 milliliters of milk. Two tablespoons dried onions. One tablespoon chicken bouillon. A quarter cup or 40 grams of flour about a tablespoon of oil, herbs to taste. In a large frying pan, add about a tablespoon of oil. Add chicken and about half of the salt and pepper, stirring frequently until browned. Add frozen vegetables. Cook until almost all water from the frozen vegetables has evaporated and vegetables are no longer frozen. Spoon chicken and vegetables into pie forms. In a saucepan, combined milk, the rest of the salt and pepper, chicken bouillon, dried onions, and flour. Add herbs to taste. Heat to boiling. Gravy should be quite thick. Spoon over the chicken and vegetables. Stir briefly to combine a little bit. Roll out top crust of the pie crust and lay over the pie. Cut the crust to the size of the pie. Pinch the edges together and cut slits into the crust.
bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for 30 to 40 minutes or until the crust just begins to brown. Allow the pie to stand for about 10 minutes before trying to cut it. The thick gravy keeps the pie contents together pretty well. This pie tastes amazing. It's like a thick stew in a pie crust. This recipe also keeps in the fridge about three days and freezes beautifully if you want to make it ahead. For more recipes and tutorials, visit our website at AmericanBakerInGermany.Weebly.com. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe for more recipes.